Happy Doll and her dog Tana set. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. Recently I made a video where I unboxed and reviewed the controversial pregnant Midge doll and I had so much fun filming that video and talking to you guys in the comments about this infamous doll that I decided to turn this into a little bit of a series and I ordered another controversial doll, another controversial Barbie. This one's controversial because it's a hazardous doll, supposedly. It was recalled. Please welcome to the stage, bling, Bobby and Tanner. Tanner, I feel like I have to say it like Tanner. Anyway, Tanner. This doll is super famous in the Barbie community. If you know, you know. If you don't know, don't worry, I'm going to explain. Before we talk about this incredible piece of Barbie history, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new here and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Some of you may recognize Tana, the dog in here, from their very brief cameo appearance in the Barbie movie. Anyway, for a little bit of background on this doll, it was released in May of 2006, but on August 14th of 2007, the US Customer Product Safety Commission, in cooperation with Mattel, recalled all the dolls and issued a warning because the product had been deemed hazardous to children. Dun dun dun! And in my opinion, the toy itself is also kind of weird. The whole point of this doll is that Obviously, Barbie has her dog, and you feed the dog these dog treats, give Tanner a dog treat, yum, and they're like these little brown pellets, and then you push down Tanner's tail, push down her tail, uh-oh, she does a, she does a poop, basically, she poops, she does a dump, and the part I find kind of weird is the, the treats and the poop look exactly the same, obviously, because they are the same, but Y yeah, I find that kind of weird. And then you clean up the poop with the pooper scooper. Barbie is the best. And I guess this toy is meant to kind of encourage kids to clean up after their dogs, which is a good thing. I personally very much hate stepping in dog shit, so <laughs> I, I appreciate that. And you know what, these dolls are really cute, and you could also get this set here, Teresa and her cat Mika. And this doll set wasn't recalled. That cat didn't poop, it peed. <laughs> so, fun. The packaging is really, really cute. They've made it look kind of like a dog shop. Everything's really beautifully displayed. I love the little illustrations, they're really cute. So, other than the fact that this doll could poop, well, not, not the doll, <laughs> the dog could poop, why was it recalled? What was the reason? What was reason. the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the Basically, a small magnet inside of the accessory here could become loose. If the magnet was found by young children, it could be swallowed. If more than one magnet is swallowed, the magnets can attract each other and cause intestinal perforations or blockages, which can be fatal. So about 683,000 dolls were recalled. The US Customer Product Safety Commission had received three reports of the magnets becoming loose, but no reports of any injuries. Customers were asked to immediately take recalled toys away from their children and contact Mattel to receive a free replacement toy. It was also illegal to resell the recalled dolls, which means the person who sold me this could have been breaking the law, potentially? But scoopers with white material covering the magnet and products manufactured after January 31st, 2007 were not recalled. Which means my one could be safe. I guess we'll find out when we open her. Because of course we are going to open this doll. Hopefully I don't choke. Okay doll fans, so Barbie and Tanner are free from the box and this is such an amazing doll set, it's a shame that it was so dangerous. <laughs> I still find the concept a little weird, but we'll, we'll get into it in a moment. I did look at the instructions to see if it kind of had any warnings anywhere. It does have a warning for small parts, so children under three shouldn't use it, and it does have a warning that there are magnets involved. First of all, I feel like we should talk about Tanner. He, she, I think she, is so, so cute. And she has this sparkly Barbie collar 
and the lead, which Barbie can actually hold. Now, the way this doll works is quite interesting. Uh, if you pull the tail up, it opens its mouth, and you can put the food in. And then if you push its tail down, it shakes its head as if to go, uh-oh! <laughs> and the, the food comes out the other way. So let's do a little demonstration, shall we? Okay, so here are the little pellets. They're really small. I'm surprised that these weren't the choking hazard. They do actually kind of look like little brown Tic Tacs as well, but anyway. And then, yeah, you put it in its mouth. The mouth looks kind of weird. Um, and then it goes in there. And yeah, and then if you push the tail down, the poo comes firing out and it hits the floor like a brick. <laughs> so that again, it goes in there. Oh, you can hear it sliding down and then, oh gosh, yeah, it goes rolling away. So there we have it and you can put the food in the food bowl. It only comes with six pieces of food. And I am certain that these little pellets will be like the first things to get lost when a kid buys this. Now, let's talk about Barbie. I just want to say this doll is really beautiful. I wonder if, I wonder if you bought this doll in 2006, did you have to return the doll? Or did you just have to return the pooper scooper? Like, who knows? She has beautiful soft blonde hair and it even has a little twisty braid going down here which is tied to her little bolero, um, like, hoodie. This is so funny, this is so, like, early 2000s. What good is that hoodie gonna do? It's not gonna keep you warm at all. But anyway, she has amazing sparkly silver eyeshadow, which I love. She has this cute little top, which even has her dog printed on it. Like, how incredible is that? And then she has these three-quarter length, like, cargo trousers with a little belt detail and belt loops. There are so many little cute details. She has little trainers on, and they even have painted on details. This is like a really nice doll. She can bend her knees. Now, interestingly enough, my doll actually has the little bit of white plastic covering the magnet. So I guess this was added in at a later date to stop the magnet from sliding out. But I found that quite interesting. So my one actually wouldn't have been recalled. Mine must have been sent back to the manufacturer, and then this must have been added to make it safe for kids. I also forgot to mention that Tanner is covered in flocking, which is like what Salvanians have. So Tanner's like soft, which I absolutely love. And Tanner also comes with toys that can go in their mouth, like that. They have that thing, don't know what you call that. They have this thing, the rope. They have the teddy bear. I think that can go in. Yeah? Holds all of these things in its mouth. Doesn't hold the ball in its mouth. Oh, no, nearly broke it, so let's not do that. And when one of the pellets falls on the floor, the pooper scooper can magnet to it. Then Barbie has this little poop bin. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, it opens like that, and then there's a little kind of release thing, and the poo goes in there. And this part I find kind of weird. The poo goes immediately back into the doggy food thing, and you can just pour it back into the bowl. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. Obviously, you're meant to suspend, you're meant to suspend your disbelief for that moment. But, you know, the whole mechanism actually works really well. I mean, when it's not, like, being dangerous. Oh, I missed. Oh, gosh. It's very, very fiddly. It's very fiddly. So, there we have it, doll fans. I survived opening the controversial, dangerous Barbie and Tanner doll set. And I have to say, it's a shame that this doll is famous for being so dangerous because it's actually a really fun, nicely made toy. And even though I find the whole, like, eating its own poo mechanism kind of weird, it all works really well and it is, like, a brilliant, brilliant doll. But yeah, and my one had the little bit of white plastic to keep it safe, so... 
but please let me know in the comments what you thought of this doll. Let me know if you had this doll in 2006. Let me know if you remember all the controversy. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok. And we will see you real soon, doll fans. Bye!